national championship class of the Extreme Festival, the national production cars at SWAT Cops. So they're lined up and ready to go. It's going to be some fun and games out there, that is for sure. Great set of cars and some exciting racing expected in this first outing for the new National Production Car Championship. Well, this is what it's all about. This is the premier class and everybody comes out to watch what the best racing or the best action is around this amazing SWAT Corp track. You're going to have a lot of strategy going into turn one and how you're going to set yourself up for the rest of the race. And that all belongs to Michael Steven from pole position, but under big pressure from Michael van Rooyen already. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Donder van Rooyen, or is that Lightning McQueen as we like to call him, as they head down into an next corner, goes around the outside of Michael Steven. And this is a turn up for the books. What a way to go. As uh, Gennaro Bonafidi looks like he's in the thick of it at the moment, in between those two engine extreme Audis. And fighting hard is Michael van Rooyen. He's got to the front. The Chev has got to the front. That is the first time he would have led a national production car championship heading into Castle Magnetic Corner. And this is going to be a big turnaround for how things go in 2015. Well, you can imagine the smile on his face as they go up into Sassel late on the brakes. He'll want to hold it for as long as he can, but he knows the pressure's all behind him. Yeah, the pressure coming from the two Audis. Then just behind them, it's the Volkswagen Golf of Graham Nathan and the first of the Fords starting to make a little bit of a wayside and get through the field. Nathan's got bossed on uh, that Simon Moss. And look at that, up at the inside, here comes Fumato. Looking for a chance to sneak through. He gets on the inside into the last turn and might have the drive. Well, he's going to have to run really hard now. He does squeeze him out, so he makes a pass there. Gary Fumato up one place. He'll be looking at the front of the pack from here. Henny G on board with him at the moment, and Grunewald is in the thick of it. There's no doubt about it. As Van Rooyen leads out after lap number one, he's maintained that lead and is starting to pull a little bit of a gap. Michael Steven looking in the rearview mirror and just adjusting the visor slightly. He knows he's in for a fight here. Well, Greg, who says a cool car doesn't make you go faster? It's certainly the colours, the Lightning McQueen colours of uh, Igdemont, and he's getting a gap. I'm loving the fact that when we go on board with Michael Steven, even though he's running number 12 for the season, his onboard shot and the onboard board with all the sponsors still has a one. That's where he wants to be. Well, it's all about uh, your mental state of mind, and, and maybe he needs to see that more often to get up to the front. Good race forming between the top three. Bonafidi right in the mix, and uh, can he find a way past, though? And he's going to have to work hard to try and find a way through here. It's not going to be easy, that is for sure. Check what's happened in the background. Fumato's got through, Nathan now tucked in, then it's Simon Moss and Henny G just behind him. So uh, the two Audis have not found a way past, and in fact, Germany starting to put the pressure on as we lose Charles Smallberger in the Sabertech Golf. Oh, what a pretty, that's uh, not something you want to see. And we go back to the front though, and it uh, looks like he's getting a lot closer again. Michael van Rooyen maybe feeling the pressure. Had got a little bit of a gap, but it's all tightened up as they go through turn two. Jordan Sherrod, oh, a little bit sideways heading into Renexcon corner. Second of the minis, there's me ahead of Mark Detoy. Detoy had a little bit of issues at the beginning of the race, but eventually got them sorted out. And when he came past, yeah, it was very difficult to keep him at bay. On board with Michael van Rooyen sitting uh, fairly far back from the steering wheel compared to most of the driving styles we've seen, but obviously the way he feels comfortable in that chair. Yeah, he's certainly feeling very comfortable today to try and keep out the very hot competitors behind him. Look at that. Speaking of hot, all of a sudden Bonafidi is under massive pressure now, just like Steven is putting onto Van Rooyen. Fomato is doing the same thing. And it's coming down to the wire. Uh, the chicken flag will be waiting as they come out of GNH Transport Racing Corner. And chicken flag comes out. Michael Van Rooyen steals first blood in the National Production Car Championship of 2015. Going through the official results, Michael Van Rooyen on top of the pile. Michael Steven in second place. Gennaro Bonafidi in third place. Gary Fomato in fourth. And Simon Moss rounding out the top five. Moving on to Class X then, Freak Blicknote Jr. with a win ahead of Freak Blicknote Sr. in second place. Jordan Sherritt rounds out the top three. Climbing out the car and caught up with the winner of race one, Michael Van Rooyen. I didn't think I'd get such a good start. Um, it worked out exactly as I wanted to. Um, got a bit of a lead and I tried to push as hard as I can. I knew that the tyres the tires were going to go off towards the end and they did and Michael came. Um, pushed me toward the last lap especially um, and I managed to block a few times and managed to get the win. It's wonderful. Third place man, Sassel Racing's Gennaro Bonafidi. We it was an unknown coming into it. Uh, obviously we were all excited about the, the new experience and then the new mix up between the cars but uh, you know it seems that it was a good race for us. Uh, we just hung in there a little bit and just, just couldn't do anything you know. <laughs>